Hello, welcome back to Penny Silly Thoughts. I am Ajita, and if you are new to this channel, make sure to check this link above here to know a little more about me. This is the part two of the Bali series, and if you haven't watched part one yet, I'll drop a card here. I'll also put the link in description, so do check it out. In this part of the video, we will check out the elephant cave of the Gogaja Temple and tour the coffee plantation and learn how Luwak coffee is produced. We'll end the day by watching a beautiful sunset at Panalot Temple. Let's go. Gogadra Temple or the Elephant Cave is situated very near to Ubud. With magnificent carvings on the outside, the temple is really small from the inside. It is just a small cave. This amazing structure is made of all edible items. There are some preparations going on for a ceremony and that is why you see a lot of ladies preparing offerings. After touring the temple, walk a little further and you will be welcomed by naturally formed interesting rocks and waterfalls. On my way back, I made a quick stop at this cafe with an extensive rice paddy view. I just wanted to sit here for long. Anywhere you go, the best part is the beautiful drive, the scenic roads. There are many coffee plantations, but I went to the one near Tanahalot Temple. The cat or luak is given some sweet item with coffee bean inside it. Okay, you give them sweet fruit. Yeah, sweet. When it excretes, uh, the poop contains the bean as it is. Yes, this is for poop luak, yeah? Yeah. For poop luak, outside for poop luak and okay. inside for coffee bean, yeah? Oh. The beans are then extracted from the poop and cleaned, then roasted and ground to finally form one of the most expensive coffees in the world, the luak coffee. After the coffee plantation too, you are seated and you are given 10 different varieties of tea and coffee to taste. The wines that I tried are mangosteen, lemongrass and ginger tea. Ginger tea has a strong ginger flavour but it's really good. Coconut coffee tastes amazing. It tastes like eclairs or something. So after having teas here like the ginger tea and ginger, I'm sure my throat will improve if nothing else. The tour is free of charge but as a courtesy, either of a tip or buy something from their shop. I got myself some coconut coffee. And string sound a lot. I think only Balinese people are allowed in the temple premises. Meanwhile, I hiked up to a restaurant to view the sunset from. I'm enjoying the sunset while the camera is capturing time lapse. I won't be able to see the sunset, I have to reach a before 8. I have to return my scooter because I have to leave tomorrow early morning for the Musa Penida tour. So, how much ever we will see. Well, guys, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment in below kaisa laga video and make sure to like, share, and subscribe because that will help me create more content for you. I'll see you next week with the last and final part of the Bali series. Until then, stay tuned and bye bye.